Hello, and welcome to the Ragnar Love YouTube channel. On this channel, I will try to share tips and tricks I gather while playing Ragnarok Online. Nova's Ragnarok Online, in my case. As I am progressing through the amazing world of Midgard, I am learning more and more about the game. And a lot of what I learned, I wish I knew when I just started out. So I decided to share these things with you. So without any further ado, here are 10 things I wish I knew when I started playing Nova Row. Number 1. Drag and drop versus alt click. Now, if you have some content in your inventory and you want to move it to your storage, you can obviously drag and drop, drag and drop, or move something from your storage to your inventory, drag and drop. That's quite slow and tedious. Now, what you can do is hold down the alt key and right mouse click on any of the content. Click, click, and as you can see, it moves your storage really quickly. And it also works the other way around, of course. There we go. Number 2. The Marketplace. Novaro has an amazing efficient marketplace page, where you can easily find the content you want for your characters. If the vendor is selling the content on the dedicated marketplace map, you can easily copy the location by clicking on it, and then in Novaro, warp to the marketplace with Add Go Market, and pasting the location you just copied. If the vendor is elsewhere, check where the person is, or to that map. Click the location, paste it, and you'll be shown the route towards the vendor. How awesome is that? Number 3 find loot an item command using the add who drops or add wd command to find out what kind of enemy drops the item you are looking for additionally using the add where is or add wi command you can also find out where these monsters are and how many of them are present on the map this is very handy or quickly finding the enemy you need. Go there, kill them, get the loot. Quite convenient. Now, let's go over turbo commands. Rolling cutter is nice, but wouldn't it be much better if you could hold the button? If you open the Novaro patcher, you can see three small icons in the bottom right. The last button contains some amazing features that can make your life a lot easier. Go to the turbo menu. Here you can turn regular keys to powerful turbo keys. My rolling cutter skill is on the F1 key. Let's click on this. There are three options here. Disabled, meaning pressing it once activates it once. Turbo, this is handy for skills that do not need a target like healing yourself or my rolling cutter. And then there is smart cast, which is handy for skills and spells that need a target to activate. Setting it to smart cast means that as long as I hold down the button and hover over a target, my character will try to cast its skill on the target. For me, such a skill is a cross impact skill. This makes life so much better. The default and beta client. The amazing people at Novaro are working hard on improving Ragnarok Online by updating the client, adding new features, bug fixes, as well as performance and visual updates. Normally when you install the game, you'll be running the default client, but just simply right click on the patcher. You can select the Novaro's own special beta client. Just let it download a few patches, and bam, new visuals, and better performance. Ten Zenny gear. There is some gear that sells for only ten Zenny. Some of them you can sell to other players, but some of them can also be traded in on the second floor of the main hall. Here you can find the very talkative Ben Recycle, whom allows you to recycle some of your ten Zenny gear for rough ore decons and aluminiums, which can sell for quite a bit, by the way. Be sure to read what he has to say. Here I'll show you how I'll convert some of the inverse skills I got into rough or decons and aluminiums.
and that's how easy it is to get some valuable loot. Reordering the Kavra menu. If you need to get into your storage, try talking to the little Torim Kavra since she offers her efforts for free. But not only that, you can sort the order of your Kavra storage. This is a great way to organize your menu and you could put anything you don't need at the bottom so it doesn't get in the way. Quick identify items. We can obviously use a magnifying glass to see what gear you collected, but if you have a big list of items like mine, doing them one by one is boring. So the Kavra lady offers to do it all in one go for only 100 zenny per item. This saves you time if your gear sells for a lot, but 100 zenny cost won't matter at all. Concentration Potions Concentration Potions are cheap drinks that will increase your attack speed. Very handy when you just start out and are fighting for slightly stronger monsters. Even if you are a very much higher level character, these potions help dealing more damage per second. Isn't that great? And you can find them at any tool dealer. And last but not least, the favorites inventory. There are always items that you take along with you, like the aforementioned concentration potions, but also fly wings, potions and such. So why not drag them to your favorite tab of the inventory, that way they won't be between all the loot you gathered and it's nice to see all the important items in one tab. And that's it, 10 tips that hopefully will make your Ragnarok life a little bit better. I hope this video has been helpful and let me know what helpful tips and tricks you have discovered while playing Ragnarok Online. Do you have any suggestions for other Novoro videos? Let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe to get more Novoro videos in the future. Have a great day, take care and stay safe.